Hello. I've recently been reading a book by Keith Newman entitled Bible and Treaty, Missionaries Among the Māori. In it, Newman describes the early days of Christianity in this nation, both the good and bad points as the missionaries attempted to share their faith with the Māori people. I love reading church history because it can teach us so much, and this book is no different. Even though I haven't finished reading it yet, I'd like to take the rest of this devotion to highlight a few of the things it's reminded me. Firstly, God can use anyone. It's a trap anyone can fall into thinking that we need to be something in order for God to use us. Octavius Hadfield had consistently frail health, yet rather than waiting for God to heal him before allowing himself to be used by God, Hadfield was determined to spend his last energies in missionary service, letting his poor health give him a sense of urgency in that mission. Despite his ongoing health issues, Hadfield became one of the most respected missionaries in the country, even becoming an archbishop due to his willingness to be used by God no matter what. Secondly, we all need one another. Another early missionary, Thomas Kendall, was one of the first to make a detailed study of the Māori language, even producing the first Māori grammar book. However, Kendall and his fellow missionaries fell out quite early on, and without support around him, over time Kendall lost his way. His marriage broke apart, he drank to excess, ignored his supervisors, and was eventually removed from his role and forced to leave the country in disgrace. Although Kendall and his wife were eventually reconciled, and he did repent of his sins, the damage to his reputation remains. When we go our own way, cutting ourselves off from the input opinions and even corrections of our brothers and sisters in the faith, we make our journey far more treacherous, and even if we feel we're standing firm, we should watch out lest we fall. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 12. A third thing this book reminds me of is simply how much heritage there is to our faith. Our nation is built on the backs of those who have come before, and so is our faith. Hebrews 12 verse 1 reminds us that we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. And for us in New Zealand, that includes the selfless foreign missionaries and the many Māori missionaries who picked up their crosses daily, taking the message of peace and reconciliation to traditional enemies. Some of these, such as T. Manahira and Kereopa, even gave their lives for the gospel with Te Manahera praying for his enemies and for peace as he died. Our faith is for every tribe and tongue. It's not simply a white western one. Let's celebrate the heritage of our faith, learning from the good and bad of those who have come before, and praising God for those who have given their lives to enable us to know the love of Christ. Blessings.